Good morning, everybody. Firstly, how are you? Secondly, I am back vlogging. It's been a little while since it's been me and you just with my vlogging camera and I'm really looking forward to it. I am back filming now. I've taken a couple of weeks off from making content here because, oh my God, that advent series I did nearly killed me, but I've had a break. What have I been up to? I've been to London for a week with my best friend, Rachel. We went to see one of our favorite singer, songwriters, artists called Ash Nico. We went to see her at Alexandra Palace, which was really good. I met a few of you guys there as well. So if we did bump into each other, it was so good to meet you. But yes, um, also it felt really nostalgic being at Ali Pali because that is where I did one of my very first meet and greets, which is when I had pillar box red hair let me know if you've been around for that long, but it was kind of nostalgic being there. Like I was stood watching Ash Nico where I had one of my meet and greets and yeah, it was kind of like a, a nice full circle. <laughs> we also went to see Shagged Married Annoyed, which is one of my favorite podcasts. That was really good too. We went to see that at Wembley. And after that, I had half a week doing some pretty big planning and some really exciting work for a huge project, which, I haven't told you about yet, but I will be telling you first thing in 2024 because I'm just not gonna be able to hide it from you guys. But you are gonna lose your minds when you hear about it because it is the biggest thing that I have ever taken on in my career. It's something completely outside of my comfort zone and I'm really looking forward to it. Like I found out the other day that <laughs> I had an email from YouTube and it's basically like your year in re review, but it told me that I have been on this platform YouTube since 2009. I've been making content since 2011. So I think I've been doing it for nearly 13 years now, which <laughs> I think I've been telling myself I've been doing this for 10 years for the past three years. So yeah, it was like, a bit eye-opening but my point is I'm ready for a new challenge and my big project that's starting next year is probably the biggest challenge ever and I cannot wait to tell you about it anyway let's get on with my day before I do I am going to tell you where I got this beautiful cardigan from it's really long it goes down to my calves <laughs> this is from a company called wolf and badger I got influenced by an Instagram ad and couldn't say no. It's the most magical, comfy kind of oversized cardigan. So I'll leave it linked down below if you're interested in it. But yes, today I have been a bad plant mom. I need to water all of my plants because they are very neglected and very thirsty. I do also need to do some tidying around the house because I have got lots of family coming this weekend. It's already Thursday, the 14th of December. So yes, plants are definitely my priority. So let's get them all out. I will tell you how I look after them and some of the tools that I use whilst I'm tending to them. So I've moved half of my plants over here just because there's not enough space for them all, but I thought I would talk through the four things that I cannot live without when it comes to tending to my plants. The first thing is this little gadget, which looks a little bit weird. This is a moisture meter, and I looked after my plants for a very long time without one of these, but this is super handy to stop you from over or under watering your plants. So as you can see, it has this little meter gauge, which goes from dry, moist, and to wet and basically this has a little it, I don't even know how it works if I'm honest I know that when this gets moisture on it the gauge will move so you basically probe this into your plant I'm gonna do this with this one because I did water it yesterday this is probably my most dramatic plant ever so you get it you put it inside and then it should tell me that it's moist and as you can see <laughs> it is telling me that it's moist. So I don't need to water this one today because I did water this one solo yesterday. This plant I've only had for a few weeks. It's a calathea and I've never had a plant this dramatic. This will tell me when it is dying of thirst and it will kind of go very droopy, very floppy. It will look like I've killed it. In fact, the first time it happened, 
I thought I had, but I gave it a drink and then it came back to life. So happy days. So I'm kind of using this plant almost as a gauge to when I need to water everything else. So this one's happy. So I'm not going to be doing that one today. So I'm going to pop that one to one side. Other things that I use a lot are my little trimming secateurs, secateurs, basically plant scissors, but Anytime there's dead leaves or bits that aren't looking quite right, I will just chop them off with these. So these are a definite must. Obviously, little watering can, quite small because it's just for house plants. And secondly, my mister. This is from Patch Plants and it says, let us spray mist to keep the air around the plant humid. This is my favorite water bottle of all time. Even if I'm not watering them, I will give them a little mist <laughs> so yes when i'm doing this i will trim what needs to be trimmed check the moisture i will then give it a good water until all of the water is coming through the bottom of the plant i will show you and then i will mist all of the leaves so that they're all happy and ready to go back onto the shelf so i will start off by showing you this one this is my mini swiss cheese i get my watering can and i literally pretty much flood the plant until it's really kind of soaking through and then in just a moment you'll see this is what you're looking for when you're watering a plant you want the water to be dripping out of the drainage holes and it's very important that you let all of that moisture fall through before putting it back into your decorative pot uh, i can't see any leaves on this that needs trimming so i'm going to leave it but now that that's done i'm going to get my mister bottle and I'm just gonna give it a good little misting. I do this on the front and the back of the leaves as well, so it's feeling real happy. And then I will pop it back into its pot and it is ready to go back on the shelf. Okay, that's one plant done. Now for the rest of them. I've finally watered my forest of plants and they are looking a lot happier and very well watered. Now being the advent calendar queen it seems I thought I would open today's and you're probably thinking are you not fed up with advent calendars? Well no because this one is chocolate <laughs> this one uh, i was bought by my other half this is the ferrero rocher advent calendar he's got a tony's chocolate only one which is absolutely massive by the way um but yes this was my chocolate one as you can see i'm already very far into december and today is the 14th so inside here they have normal ferrero rochers they have the dark chocolate ones which i'm not the biggest fan of and they have the coconut ones which are my favorite so i am just gonna see what's in today <laughs> of course it's a dark chocolate one so that is today's Ferrero Rocher um, and then I do have another advent calendar which was sent to me by Kiehl's which is a skincare company which is this one um, firstly beautiful packaging but yeah this is one that I had left over in my studio so I was like I'll just make that my advent calendar so let's have a look at day number 14. Where are you? Here it is. So they come in these cute little boxes. There's a little Kiehl's motorbike on there. And inside is a skincare product. Uh, this one is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner. And uh, honestly, like I needed more skincare, but Kiehl's is so good. I have been a fan of Kiehl's for a few years, especially their moisturizers. So that's today's. Also, yes, I have decorated for Christmas. <laughs> it's pretty much the same tree as last year with the red and the gold baubles on there with these beautiful golden stars sprinkled with a lot of Harry Potter decorations. So if you want to see my tree, 
check it out in last year's video because it's exactly the same but it's so beautiful and oh, I'm feeling so festive like oh I just want to I'm gonna be very sad when I have to take this down in January put it that way I have just come to sit down at my desk in my office for a little bit because I do have some work to do today. I have a video going up tonight and I haven't done the thumbnail yet so I am going to edit those because it's my favourite part of just content creating is doing the thumbnails, making sure that they look good, that they're eye catching. But also I have just had a delivery which is in this box. This is a present for somebody um, in my family and it is amazing. I can't fully open it for you, but I will link it down below because if you have any friends or family that love the magical wizarding world, this isn't from it, but it will be appreciated and I'll tell you why. So let me have a look. Yeah, oh my God, I saw this on the internet and I was like, that is the most beautiful piece of chocolate. It's actually quite heavy, you know, um, that I've ever seen. So this is by Fortnum and Mason and it's the Fortnum's Chocolate Toad. And seriously, go and have a look at the website because my jaw just was like, I need to buy that for someone, so I did. This is like the ultimate chocolate frog. And I mean, just look at the box. The box is stunning, but the chocolate toad in there, it looks like a real toad. And just go and have a look at it. Anyway, so I'm gonna put that to one side because I need to get that wrapped soon. But my, my next moments are just gonna be glued to my computer. just finished the thumbnail so I'm going to save that to my server and when I review the video later I will then upload it but yeah it's a, it's a pretty wintry thumbnail I gotta say what do you guys think do you like it <laughs> I think it's time for me to now go and sort lunch out I am starving but completely unrelated I wanted to show you guys my favorite storage box of all time it is the best storage solution I think I've ever bought and here it is. <laughs> These are boxes that you can buy for wrapping paper. And when I tell you, look how many rolls I fit in there. I also fit in all of the ribbons and bows and labels for presents and stuff. And it just comes up like that. And it's so good. And I just thought if any of you guys are having trouble this Christmas finding a good storage solution, this is your new best friend. I will try and link it down below if I can find it. Uh, they definitely sell these in Costco because I saw them yesterday, but oh, it's just so good. It thrills me every single year. This is for Christmas and birthdays. Was going to be a little bit naughty and go out for lunch, just like Marks and Spencer's or something, but I spotted the Branston pickle in the cupboard, which I got from Asda the other day. And I was like, oh yeah. I have not had a Branston pickle and cheese sandwich probably for a couple of years. And it is divine. You can fight me on it, but it's the small chunk for me. Oh my God, <laughs> that smells so good. If you've never tried Branston pickle and cheese sandwich, you have to, um, so I'm very excited about that. So I'm gonna have a quick sandwich because yeah, my tummy has been rumbling all while I was doing my thumbnail. Also, another thing, I thought that my other half was absolutely crazy when he told me he spread his butter with a spoon. <laughs> but ever since he told me that and I gave it a go, it is so much easier than using a knife where it kind of rips your bread, especially if the butter's a little bit hard. And now I use a spoon for literally everything. Like it just spreads so easily. So next time when you're doing a sandwich or buttering something, try a spoon. It will change your absolute life. It definitely changed mine and I'm never going back to knives. So there we have it. Anyway, I'm starving. I will see you in a bit. I've just gone and put on something a little bit more warmer and cozier. The house is always a little bit chilly 
in the afternoons just because I have a very set schedule of when the heating comes on and when it doesn't. But I'm going to tackle the living room first and I have a very particular way of cleaning. I don't know if it's how everyone does it but basically I will take anything that's for the rubbish, put it in the bin, take anything that doesn't belong in this room and put it in the room it does belong in or just outside put everything back where it belongs and then I will usually vacuum sometimes not polish in here I use my GoDaddy what are they called dust erasers I think they're called <laughs> either way they are fantastic for picking up dust everywhere and then I will spritz everything so it smells nice uh, and because I have hardwood floors down here I will also give it a little bit of a, a mop as well so first things first is my living room this room tends to get quite messy on a daily basis just because we end up sitting on the sofas every evening to watch tv we'll often bring snacks in here and obviously we've got like Christmas chocolates lying around and that kind of thing at the moment. And yeah, I need to make it nice and tip top for the family to arrive this weekend. My carpet is currently very wrinkled and wrinkled and scrumpled. <laughs> so that's really bugging me. So I need to move that. So let's get this room ship shape, shall we? Just like that, the living room is done. Smells amazing, everything's back to default and ship shape. We've got Merry Christmas cushions on here. I've also got my red cushions out because I like to get those out of Christmas to go with the green. And then we've got our Christmas tree. Looks so magical, I'm obsessed. Favorite room of the house, 100%. Anyway, onwards to the kitchen. The room, pristine, all surfaces wiped, a beautiful Zaflora smell in the air. Oh, there's nothing more satisfying than a really, really clean kitchen and a bowl full of oranges. <laughs> is this the most me thing that you've ever seen? I think it might be. It is the next day. I ended up not finishing the vlog last night because my other half came home and then he helped me with the rest of the house. So downstairs is looking at ship shape for our family to visit this week and everything's nice and clean and tidy. We even vacuumed the stairs. So it's looking good. Everything's smelling good. Um, last night we also had a takeaway. Uh, we had a Chinese, which where I live, there's not too many takeaway options. So we did drive out a little bit for this one and oh my God, it was delicious. It was so good. I don't think I've had a Chinese takeaway for one to two years maybe. I think the last time I had one was at my parents' house in Birmingham, so. <laughs> but yes, today's plan is I've got to get on top of laundry. We're currently in my utility room. As you can see, there's just piles of laundry everywhere. So I'm going to do that before the weekend because this is the final room downstairs, which is a bit chaotic. Not that I'm going to have guests in here, but I know that I'm busy all weekend and I'm probably not going to have much time to do any more housework. So I'm going to get on top of the laundry this morning. What time is it now? It is 10 a.m. on the 15th of December and I have got Cameron Chris visiting this morning with his brother as well. Um, they are coming to pick a couple of things up from my garage, which have just been sitting there waiting um, for them to pick it up. So they're going to do that. I'm also going to probably take them for coffee and show them something to <laughs> show them something surrounding the unmentioned project that I keep going on about. I know it's so annoying when content creators are like, oh, I've got this big secret. I've got this big secret, but I can't tell you yet. Um, it's not like I can't tell you yet. It's just, I want to tell you in the new year, in 2024, because that's when it's all gonna be happening. And trust me when I say, I'm gonna be taking you along the entire journey of it. Uh, if you have any guesses, feel free to leave them down below. <laughs> but yeah, so once they've visited and once they've gone, I'm then going to be glued to my desk for the day because I need to edit this vlog, which is going up tomorrow. 
um, that won't be fun for you to watch. It's literally just going to be me at the desk, just like for a few hours and then the weekend starts and the family starts arriving tomorrow so that's pretty much it I think I have filled you in in everything that's going on at the moment it's just quite homey this week on top of getting back into work I've also got quite a lot of YouTube video planning to do thank you so much for everyone that gave me requests and suggestions of content um, that you want to see soon this video is one of them you wanted to see a cleaning vlog so I hope you've enjoyed it if you do have any suggestions of things that you want to see in 2024 content wise please do leave a comment down below and yeah we are very close to Christmas aren't we I'm very excited for Christmas this year it's my first Christmas with my other half and so there's a lot of family there is double the family to see this year but I'm really really looking forward to it I don't think I've been looking forward to a Christmas this much in a long time and I love Christmas like Christmas is probably my favorite time of year but yeah I think I might end the vlog here I do apologize if it's short I can't remember how much I filmed yesterday but either way I hope you're all doing really well if there are any questions that you want to ask me leave them in a comment I'll be sure to reply to as many of those as possible but for now I'm gonna get my laundry sorted get my errands with Cameron and Chris sorted and then just go work for the rest of the day. So yeah, I hope you've all had a lovely week and you have a lovely weekend. And I will see you very soon in a brand new video. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoy this sort of content because it helps me out figuring out what you like and what you don't like, but I will see you very soon. <laughs> Bye. Oh, right. Laundry just never ends, does it? I feel like I spent half my life doing laundry. Okay, bye!